Hi everyone, I'm Christina, Chief Creative Officer at Scorly, and today we are going to talk about visibility for search engines. Introduction to no index and no follow. No index and no follow are HTML tags that control how search engines interact with your web pages, impacting their visibility and influence on your site's SEO. No index it's a tag that tells search engines not to index a particular page. This means that the page will not appear in search engines' results. No follow it's a tag that instructs search engines not to follow links on a page. This means that the search engine will not pass any link authority or link juice through those links. Importance of no index. Control indexing. Prevent search engines from indexing pages that are not useful for search results. For example, admin pages or duplicate content. Optimize scroll budget. Ensure search engines focus on important pages improving overall site performance. Avoid duplicate content. Helps in preventing penalties related to duplicate content. Using the no index tag strategically can help you manage which pages search engines index, ensuring only the most valuable content is included in search results. Visible for search engines. The Squally SEO audit feature provides a clear indication of whether your pages are visible to search engines, helping you identify and fix issues quickly. Fixing no index issues. Identify no index. The audit will show if any pages are marked with no index. Remove no index. Use Squally SEO plugin to easily control and remove no index tags on necessary pages. Exclude pages. Remove pages you want to remain no index from the SEO audit. Okay, now let's go into Scrolly SEO audit feature so we can see where exactly we can check if the pages we are auditing have the no index tag. To do this, we are going to go to our WordPress dashboard to Scrolly SEO to SEO audit. Remember, you can see the pages that you're auditing for any particular site if you're scrolling down below a bit. You can also add new pages if you want. You can delete the pages or request a new audit for a particular page. Okay, whenever you are going to see that the audit score is one, means that one of the pages that you're auditing for this particular website has the no index HTML tag. So let's click on show latest audit. By going to SEO and scrolling a little bit, we can see it over here, visible for search engines. No, we have two pages that have the no index and the no follow tags. How can we fix the no index for our pages? If you don't have a check mark for this task, it means you're currently telling Google not to index some of your pages through a robot tag inside your code. On WordPress, it's really easy to control which pages to place no index and which pages should never get tagged with the no index tag if you use the Scrolly SEO plugin. If you decide you 100% want those pages to be no index, you don't want Google to index them, then remove those pages from the SEO audit. Use the SEO audit for the pages you want to be seen on the search engines. As a pro tip, some pages are better off if they have an associated no index tag. Every website has a couple of pages that will be completely pointless to appear in search results because they wouldn't ever make any sense for potential searchers. So how can we fix this no index tag inside Squarely SEO if we want to keep those pages and if we want to try to rank them. We can click on the page and then over here to custom SEO to visibility, we can check the let Google index this page. Another way we can do this is by editing post, scrolling a bit, 
over here to SEO snippet to visibility and check that Google index this page. We can also do this from Bark SEO. We can search for our page over here in the search bar. By clicking on metas and visibility, we can edit the visibility and check that Google index this page. By default, all visibility options are turned on. Squarely SEO makes it easy to customize visibility settings for all types of content on your site, ensuring that you're correctly indexed by Google. Another way that you can set the visibility for particular pages or post types is by going to Squarely SEO automation and configuration. By doing this, you can select a particular post type and allow Google to index it or not. As you can see, all post types have this option that you can turn it on or off. So by using the automation configuration in Squarely SEO, you are going to apply all the settings that you're making over here to the entire site for this particular post type. So remember, if you want to change the visibility for a particular page or content, you can change that in snippet or bark SEO. And if you want for the entire post types that you have for a particular website, you can do that in automation configuration. Okay, let's go back to our presentation. Pro tips for using no index. Strategic cues. Some pages are better off with a no index tag. Examples, admin pages, thank you pages, and duplicate content. Benefits, improve overall site focus and user experience. Not every page needs to be indexed. For instance, thank you pages or admin sections are better off with a no index tag to keep search engine results clear and relevant. Monitoring and adjusting settings. Conduct regular audits to ensure the settings align with your SEO strategy. Use quality insights to see how no index and no follow tags affect your site's performance. Make necessary adjustments based on audit results and SEO goals. Regularly monitoring and adjusting your no index and no follow settings ensures your sites remain optimized and search engines friendly. So remember, Whenever you're going to add your pages that you want to audit, you want to focus on inside your Squarely SEO audit feature, you're going to be able to see if any of those pages have the no index or no follow tag. By having the no index tag, those pages are not going to be visible on search engines results. So you will have to take a decision for those pages. Do you want them to have the no index tag or was that a mistake? If that was a mistake, you can simply correct that by using the SEO snippet feature or the bulk SEO feature. If you want to make sure you are using the no index tag for a particular post type, you can easily do that by using the Squarely SEO automation configuration section. And whenever you're going to see that your audit score is one, it means that one of the pages from the ones you're auditing right now have the no index tag. So this is a very easy indicator that there is a big problem in the pages you're auditing right now that you are trying to rank for. Okay, thank you for tuning in. Stay creative, stay inspired and keep optimizing your online presence. Until next time.